It's Wednesday, July 31st. I'm Lucy Steiner. And I'm Sam Cedar. Which of these stories will you be talking about today? Five GOP lawmakers retire in just two weeks as Republicans brace for a wave of exits before the 2020 election. Meanwhile, Ted Cruz begs Trump to give the rich another big tax cut after he's done taking food stamps away from millions of Americans. And lastly, California Governor Gavin Newsom thinks California has figured out a way to force President Trump to finally release his tax return. You are listening to Majority FM's AM Quickie, and these are the stories you need to know. Politico is reporting Representative Mike Conaway will not seek re-election in 2020. His retirement marks the fifth by a Republican lawmaker in the last two weeks. Yes, please, go play some golf. I can think of some centrist Democrats that should be doing that, too. Republican strategists tell Politico that they're prepping for a wave of retirements after the August recess. There are going to be a lot more retirements to come, one House GOP source told The Hill Tuesday. Tragic. Quote, between people finding themselves having to actually work hard for the first time in their long, lazy careers and members who come in with the majority and now hate life in the minority, it's just getting started. A group of over 20 Republican senators Monday urged President Donald Trump's Treasury Department to bypass Congress to give the richest Americans another massive tax cut. Led by Ted Cruz, who else? The GOP senators called on Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin to use his, quote, authority to eliminate inflationary gains from the Department of the Treasury's calculation of capital gains tax liability. Won't somebody think of the inflationary gains of capital gains tax liability? The GOP push for more tax cuts for the rich comes as the Trump administration is taking food stamps away from three million Americans. Well, they'll get by. Hey, Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off of your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. All shipping, of course, is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. California Governor Gavin Newsom signed a bill Tuesday requiring all presidential candidates to release their tax returns if they wish to appear on the state's primary election ballot. Candidates will have to submit five years of tax returns by November to be eligible for the primary ballot, and California officials will post the information online for the public to access. Newsom insists the law is constitutional, but it will almost certainly face a challenge in federal court. Even if the bill is deemed legal, President Trump could sidestep the requirement in the 2020 election by skipping the California primary altogether. With almost no competition, Trump would easily secure the party's nomination without running any campaigns in the state. And now for what we're following today. Some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. The Washington Post reports the Trump administration is set to announce that it will waive five different nuclear-related sanctions on Iran, preserving a key part of the Obama-era Iran nuclear deal. Senate Democrats, led by Tom Udall and Chuck Schumer, rallied in front of the U.S. Supreme Court building on Tuesday to announce their plans to introduce a constitutional amendment to overturn the 2010 Citizens United Supreme Court decision. The Hill reports that William Perry Penley, Trump's new head of the Interior Department's Public Lands Agency, once championed selling off federally owned plots. And also from The Hill, the Trump administration wants to scrap restrictions on arsenic-laden waste from coal-fired power plants. The EPA has proposed lifting some regulations on coal ash, the residue left after burning coal, which is filled with hazardous substances that can leach into the water supply and cause health problems. Quicker! Quickie. That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Sam? Hey, thank you, Lucy. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon for our live show or later wherever your podcasts are found.